Welcome back to my channel. I know you are doing a lot of online call right now, particularly now in 2020 when there is a pandemic going on. So you're working from home or you're having classes as a student or as a teacher you have been providing, providing classes or you have been a professional so you're working with the team. So many of you already don't know actually you can do recording your conference call in Google Meet. So many of you already been moved to another tool, let's say a Zoom or, or, or a Microsoft Team and so on. And there is a, a big issues with security with Zoom. So, so you guys has been in a very compressed situation. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your online calls, conference calls or multi-party calls in Google Meet for free without in any kind of other tools. But not only that, if you're an IT professional, I will also show you how you can turn on these features for your users in your organization so they can start to use Google Meet and record their every meetings as well too, or even classes or meetings, anything. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> Right, so now we're gonna go right jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you how you can do your great recording session of your every Google Meet session. All you need to do is the first, let's probably you want to join any particular meeting, right? So do that, you wanna join into calendar. So I'm going to the calendar, calendar just load up. So look, this is what is my, my all kind of discussions today in the meeting happening. So now let's example, this is the meeting uh, I have and in this meeting I have multiple people joining in. I wanna do this Google Meets call. So I just click this on. So it, it's, gonna, it's gonna ask me to join the call, right? So you can see, I can turn on the camera, I can turn it off later as well too, not a problem. So I join the call. So when I join the call, so I'm in the call already. So I'm gonna wait for other participant to be in the call as well too. So what I need to do is about now, I need to start the recording, right? Where is the recording button? So what I need to do is just scroll back my mouse and you can see there's the mic to, if I put, want to put my microphone mute, this option is about leaving the call. And this is the button, if I press my, I will be appearing in the camera as well too. Now, where to turn on the recording, right? Well, all I need to do, you can see that the turn on captions, and then we also have uh, where you, which is actually great actually when you see this one everything was speaking it will be appearing in the caption and then you can see this one the present now which you can use for sharing your particular slides but how to turn on the recording right all you need to do is click the more options and you can see in the top of it record meeting all you need to do is now press this record meeting and then it will ask you this pop-up recording a meeting without the consent of all participants may be illegal and actionable you should obtain constant consent to record this meeting from all the participants including external guests and guests who join late as well too so this is a, a best practices or healthy or a cultural practices to make sure that you actually get the consent from everyone before you start so then all you need to do is press accept and then you can see immediately it's actually popping up it's started recording, it's gonna, and now bam. So now whatever I'm talking about right now in this session, everything getting record. And that's the signal of in the top left corner to showing that what you are speaking right now is recording. So now let's say you continue the recording and now you wanna turn off the recording, right? Let's say some, when you stop the call, if I close the call, the recording will off and it will be saved in your Google Drive. But don't worry. Unless you want to say that, oh, I want to stop before I stop the call. I want to stop the recording first. Then all you need to do, you come back in, a, in, in this corner and you just press stop recording. So let's stop the recording first. And then it's telling you, do you sure you want to close? Yes, I want to stop recording. And when you do this one, there is a bim sound, you can hear it. That means it's actually stopped the recording as well. I take for a few more minutes to record the session and then it will send you the recorded video exactly like this you can see this one that you have received an email sending the meet recording and this is where uh, is, is the link in order to the click and then you can actually download this video sessions from here and and even can you can open it in your meet as well too 
And I want to tell you about one amazing thing as well too. Let's say about I have done this meeting with my team and you can see that all I need to do is just come back and click into it and then see this meeting and I was recording. So all my recording videos are also being attached into that session as well too. So when I'm, I had a meeting and I was recorded that meeting, that link will be also available into that meeting too as well. So all I need to do, I just click into it and it will take me straight to the video which I have recorded in my, in my meeting call and now it's been saved in my Google Drive. And if I want to, I can download this video or if I want to, I can share this video to other people as well too. Or if I want to move to other places in this one, then I can right click here and I even I can organize and can move them to other folder as well too. So this is, a, this is the amazing way so you can easily record your every video session. So that is the way you can record your every session and then after recording the session you can put it, it has already been saved in your, in your calendar into that session so that means it's always with that session because that is the session and that was recorded with that automatically you don't have to do anything. So now my question is now I your organizations you are coming into into this less example in this session and you are going to video call and you see that that function is not turned on. Why? The reason you has not been turned on because your administration team keep that off. Your IT administration team keep the recording function off. All you need to do is send an email to your IT team or IT administration team or IT services team and tell them to turn it on. And all you need to do, just do a favor for them. Give the link of this video from the YouTube and send them, hey, this is the way you can turn on this feature. And why? Because now I'm gonna show you how to even turn it on in the Google suit or as an IT administration, all right? This is the way you're gonna, uh, gonna do it. So now let's get started how to do this one. First, as an admin, first, let's say about when you are an admin, you wanna turn on the functions, right? So then all you need to do is just come in and you need to go admin console first. And then you need to log in. So I have already logged into the system. So now where to turn this feature on? All I need to do first, go to the apps, manage apps and the settings, click. Then it's gonna help you to go inside. And now you can see G Suite, uh, and then have additional Google services and G Suite Market Space apps and SMLs apps. All you need to do, go and click the G Suite core services. Click and now bam. So now you can actually turn it on for any particular, any group. So what I have done to be more for, for sophisticated, I have created many organizations in, in, in my site. So let's say about for one of the organization called CIS, inside the CIS, I want to give these features enabled only for the teachers and I want to keep it off for the students. So teachers and I, my, all my teachers in my organization is inside these teaching groups, all right? And then what I need to do, you can see all the, all the apps is here. I can see Google Meets is here, right? All I need to do, click into that one. And now you can see the detail. You can see telephony, client log, recording, dim, that is the thing. You can see recording turn on because I have already turned it on for everyone. So now for all the teachers. So now you click into it and then you can go and you can see there is an option. All you need to do to click on this edit option and for you, if it's been turned off means you will be looking like that. All you need to do is click into it and you select the box and you press save. And as soon as you press save, bam. So in your organization, maybe you're not at a school or a university. What you can do, you can easily, you can easily create many groups. Maybe you wanna turn it on for your C-suite corporations members, or you wanna, have to, you wanna turn it on for all the managers, or you wanna turn it on for all the directors. So you have all those employees are being stacked up with different groups, right? So you can put them in one group and then you can enable these features in this way for that group, which is very organized and very efficient. And I strongly suggest you to do this way. And that will be make your life and much more smarter and organized as well too. So IT professionals, go ahead and turn on these features and let your user take the best out of Google Meet so they can record the sessions and they don't have to look for other thing because you are already using Google Suite and this function is available now. 
And if you have any other questions, if you have any other difficulties to set up your organization, put a Carmel Bino and I would love to give you an answer and help you out too. All right, so this is the way you need to do this Google Hangouts or Google Meets call. If you still need any kind of advices, please go ahead and comment this video. I would love to give you an advice. If you're IT professionals, if you have any difficulties to turn it on these features in your, in your, in your site, you have seen in my video, you go ahead and, and, and comment it as well. I'm happy to take your feedbacks and I will do my best to answer you as soon as possible. If you're a user, if you need any other advice how to use Google Apps and Google Tools, comment in the video. I would love to answer you as well too. And keep watching. There's a two video which...